Hi everybody, it's Mr. Burke, and today the story I'm going to share with you, as you can see, is Double Trouble in Walla Walla by Andrew Clements, illustrated by Salvatore Murdoka, Murdoka, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that last name, but however you pronounce it, the illustrations in this book are fabulous, and this book is wonderful because we get to play with language, and sometimes it's so fun to play with words, and it makes us a better reader and a better writer too. So here we go. Let's see what the double trouble is in Walla Walla. It was an ordinary Monday morning in Walla Walla until Lulu raised her hand in class. Even her name is double talk, Lulu. Mrs. Bell, I feel like a nitwit. As you can tell, there's going to be a lot of rhymes and a lot of double talks. See if you can point them out as I go. My homework is all higgledy-piggledy. Last night, it was in tip-top shape, but now it's a big mishmash. Mrs. Bell said, nitwit, higgledy-piggledy, mishmash. Lulu, stop that flip-flop chitter-chatter or you'll be in double trouble. Lulu said, but I'm not trying to flip-flop chit-chat. I just have an itty-bitty problem with my homework. Mrs. Bell scowled. All right for you, Lulu. If you're going to shilly-shally and dilly-dally with all this fancy-schmancy yak-yak, then, we'll then we'll just have to trit-trot down to the principal's office. Mrs. Bell hurried Lulu down the hall, and they burst into the principal's office. Come, come, and her classmates are watching. Shh, shh, blah, blah, looky, looky, my, my, he, he, and yak, yak. Eka, freaka. Okie dokie, that's what they're saying, and an uh-oh down here. Mr. Thomas said, what's all the hubbub about? Mrs. Bell said, Lulu's been trying to razzle-dazzle me with some kind of lippity-loppity jibber-jabber, and now I'm all helter-skelter myself. Mr. Thomas raised his eyebrows. Tut-tut, sounds like silly willy hocus pocus to me. Mrs. Bell's mouth dropped open. She pointed to the principal and said, Eka freaka Lulu's got your tongue all topsy-turvy, too. Now, now, don't get the jim-jams, Mrs. Bell. Let's give the nurse a yoo-hoo. Mr. Thomas picked up his phone and said, Mrs. Carter, I'm going to pitter-patter over to your office. Okie-dokie. And that's why Lulu's saying, uh-oh. The whole school seems to be having double trouble. All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Mr. Thomas said, Howdy-doody, Mrs. Carter. We're a little wacko-wacko. Lulu's got us talking this sing-song claptrap like we're cuckoo. Mrs. Carter smiled at Lulu and said, Fiddle-faddle, Lulu and I are palsy-walsies. She wouldn't try that kind of phony baloney tooty fruity flim flam Lulu and her teacher and the principal stared at the nurse. Lulu said, Wowie-zowie. Mrs. Bell said, Jeepers creepers. And Mr. Thomas said, holy moly, you're in the same hodgepodge we are. I'd better give the superintendent a jingle jangle. Chop, chop. Wait one ding dang tick tock, shouted the nurse. If you chit chat with the big wig, then he'll yak yak like Lulu too. If we're not very, very hush-hush about this, there could be a mongo-mongo brain drain, and everybody in Walla Walla will be talking like a herky-jerky ding-a-ling. Then the nurse turned to Lulu. Lulu, let's get to the nitty-gritty. When did all this mumbo-jumbo start? Lulu gulped. She said, in English class, I had an itsy-bitsy problem with my homework, and then zip-zap. Mrs. Bell said talking like this was a no-no. The nurse looked over the top of her glasses at Lulu. Something like this would not just happen willy-nilly. 
Now, Lulu, think extra, extra hard, and tell me what you did yesterday. And all these speech bubbles have everything that they were saying. It's pretty fun to read them back to back. It's pretty hard, too. Ding dang, tick tock, ding a ling, chit chat, yak yak, mongo mongo, nitty gritty, herky jerky, mumbo jumbo, zip zap. See if you can do that. I bet you can. Well, said Lulu, it was really a humdrum day. I was practicing ballet in my tutu when my little brother Bobo asked me to play on the teeter-totter. We seesawed until Bobo slipped off and got a boo-boo and started to boo-hoo. Mama and Papa came running pell-mell, so I went inside and splish-splashed in the rub-a-dub tub and then hip-hopped into my cuddly waddly betty betty I said night-night to Mama and Papa and Bobo and fell asleep in a snip-snap. That's all I did. Honest. Even the pets are getting in on it with an earth-earth and a meow-meow. Mrs. Carter said, Lulu, it seems to me that you've opened up a knock em sock em wibble wobble word warp I usually don't believe in this kind of hoodoo bunko junko, but if it was going to happen anywhere, it would probably happen right here in Walla Walla. Mrs. Bell said, Let's not quibble quabble, Mrs. Carter. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies from all this razzmatazz. What can we do? What do you think? How are they going to stop all this double trouble? Let's find out. We should say all the rootin' tootin' crinkum crankum woolly bully words we can think of. Maybe that will clear the air and close the warp. Worth a try? asked Nurse Carter. Mr. Thomas said, Aye, aye, Mrs. Bell said, Let's do see do And Lulu said, Uh-huh. Nurse Carter closed the door to her office. Then she turned around and said, Lulu, let's get this harem scarum show on the road. Lulu stood right up and blurted out. Here we go. You'll have to try this too at home. Ticky tacky nick knack coochie coochie coo hubba hubba roger dodger ooey gooey goo. Mrs. Carter cleared her throat and said, Hugger, mugger, hobnob, pit-a-patter, bon-bon, wishy-washy, squish, squash, handy-dandy, mish-mosh. Mr. Thomas closed his eyes and started slowly, but picked up speed. Eensy beensy, choo-choo, teeny-tiny, hurdy-gurdy, roly-poly, rag-tag, Hurly burly riff raff, rumble tumble hip hop, teeny weeny pop top, namby pamby hippy dippy hoity toity hot shot. Whew! And then Mrs. Bell stood up and took a deep breath. <gasps> putt putt, vroom vroom, honk honk, zoom zoom, zig zag, clank clank, slam bam, fender bender. Ringy dingy cling clang, ring a ding, boing boing, ring a ling, zing zing, bing bang boom, never never wig wam, turkey lurkey, tom tom, tootsie wootsie, tittle tattle, tee he he. And then, without warning, words flooded the air. Fuzzy wuzzy, fuddy duddy, loosey goosey, lovey dovey, kissy kissy, huggy huggy, rink a dink a do. Ga ga ra ra go go so so fru fru goo goo poo poo woo hoo rinky dinky arf arf argy bargy woof woof boogie woogie bow wow super duper pooper scooper clippity cloppity hippity hoppity clickity clackity rickety rackety blah 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 ba 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 ha 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 clip clop drip drop click clack rick rack eager beaver lucky ducky comfy 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 Dumphy, Fat Cat, Hee Haw, Tweet Tweet, Chirp Chirp, Cheep Cheep, Cluck Cluck, Quack Quack, Yuck Yuck Yuck. I think the double trouble's gotten to Mr. Burke. Has it gotten to you? There's even more. Bozo Yo Yo, Hey Day May Day, Hokey Pokey Hanky Panky, Goody Goody Yum Yummy 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 Tum Tum, 
Gimme, gimme, gobble, gobble. Jelly belly, dum dum. Looky, looky, shoulda, coulda, woulda, better had a oughta. Ship shape, sump, pump, achy, breaky, doodad. Voodoo, boob, tube, moo, moo, poo, poo. Clang, clang, ying, yang, ching, ching, wing, ding. Pow, pow, cow, tow, peg, leg, jet, set. Fi, fi, my, my, rag, bag, tie, dye. Beep, beep, ho, ho, paw, paw, dodo. Root a toot, zoot, suit, looky, looky, local, yokel. Georgie, porgy, hunka, munka. Penny, henny, penny, humpty, dumpty. Who knew there were so many double trouble rhyming words? And then, suddenly, silence. Lulu, Mrs. Bell, and Mr. Thomas slumped into chairs, and Mrs. Carter flopped onto the cot against the wall. Was it over? No one dared to speak. Lulu whispered, Mrs. Carter, may I please have a drink of water? Mrs. Carter sat up and said, Of course you may, my dear. Mrs. Bell smiled weakly at the principal and said, You were magnificent, sir. Mr. Thomas perked up and smiled at everyone. He straightened his tie and said, I think we've done it, people. Mrs. Carter sat down at her desk and went back to checking over her posture records. Mr. Thomas walked across the hall to his office and went back to the letter he was writing. Lulu followed Mrs. Bell down the hallway and soon had her English homework all straightened out. And after English, it was just an ordinary Monday in Walla Walla. Ta-ta, Lulu. Bye-bye, Mrs. Ding Dong. I hope that double trouble's not starting all over again, but if it is... I'm sure you'll be ready to handle it because you had such great practice with it the first time. I bet you nailed all those double trouble words, and I hope you enjoyed this fun, silly story. Thanks for listening, everybody, and have a great day.